So this is Brian coming to you from Costa Rica. And in this video, I wanna talk about making decisions and how you're one decision away from potentially changing your entire life. And if you're not making decisions, if you're holding back in this area, how you might be feeling complacent, stuck, that your life's not going anywhere, and you just don't understand why. And I wanna get really deep into this, and I wanna share a personal story about this and how I use this just recently to radically shift my life and why I'm sitting right now in Costa Rica which may very well become a second home for me. Having a blast, by the way. So let's dive a little deeper into that. So are you stuck in your life? Do you have a lot of dreams and they're just not coming true and your life's just kind of stuck and it's on hold and you keep thinking about it and you're constantly thinking, there's this constant like, should I do this? Should I not do this? You see, this is a problem that I see a lot of clients have. They think, they think, they think. Now you have only so many days, years, weeks, and months on this planet. And if you keep thinking all the time about taking action and doing something, then nothing is gonna change. Now, if you're really into releasing, you're really into revealing, you're really into meditation, and you wanna use that to change your life, then you have got to take some action. Because every time you take some action, it gives you more material to release on. But if you're just sitting there thinking and analyzing, well, you're not really feeling the part of your body that, that, that you have to feel when you take action that causes all the shifts. Now, what does this look like? Well, for a lot of clients, it might look like, for example, I wanna move to another country and live for a while, or I just wanna travel the world, or you know, my relationship needs to end, it's not working, but I'm too scared to change it. Um, I wanna quit my job and start a business. This stuff, when you don't take action on it, but it's in the back of your mind, ruminating over and over and over again, can start to make you feel complacent. It can actually cause you to feel sad and depressed, feel like you're just stuck. And that's what you've gotta change. So how do you change that? How do you get out of that? You change that by making a decision, by taking action, by taking a, a first step. And that action can be the very thing that radically shifts your life. And I've been doing this recently. I've used to do it in the past. That's how I built Fearless. That's how I changed my whole life, guys. Like, I used to be really poor. I used to not be able to get a date to save my life. I was really sad. I was really sickly. And it's all through the act of making these decisions that put me into uncomfortable situations that really shifted my life. Now, think about this. If you're looking for comfort, you're going to lead a very uncomfortable life. But if you're willing to be uncomfortable, you can have an amazing life. So I'll say that again. If you're looking for comfort, you're gonna lead a very uncomfortable life because the more you chase comfort, the more you're gonna exit tension, the more you don't take action, the more you resist taking action, the more you're gonna exit tension, and then your body, your life, is gonna slowly atrophy and die. And then the more you step into tension, the more your life will change, the more things will shift, the more your life will expand. It's just like lifting weights. You gotta lift the weights to build the muscle. You can't look at the weights, think about the weights, stare at the weights, think about going to work out every morning before work, but then not taking action. You can't think about buying tickets all day. You gotta actually buy the tickets. Okay, so I wanna dive a little deeper. This is where I wanna share the personal story aspect. I wanna dive a little deeper into my personal story in this and how I have radically shifted my life recently, how I'm becoming happier and happier because of it. But before I do, I wanna ask you to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I really need the comments, and I really wanna hear what you have to say. I really also wanna hear what you wanna hear more of. I've been really looking at them lately a lot and uh, really trying to create videos that connect with you and what you wanna hear more about. Also, the likes and the subscribing helps the, uh, the YouTube uh, AI algorithm, however it's operating now, to recommend more videos and grow the channel as we're on our, our uh, trajectory to getting to 100,000 subscribers really soon. We really wanna get past that mark so we can start bringing you better and better content. So let's dive in a little deeper. Now, recently in my life, I was getting complacent. I'd grown my life quite a bit and then now suddenly I stayed the same. I, I hadn't changed a lot. I'd traveled the world, but I'd always lived in the same place. I always had this base that I went back to. I'd built a nice business, but I'd always huddle back into my base. And I had all these dreams. They, I'd written a lot of stuff on a lot of my personal goals. And I noticed that a, a lot of them had, had not come true yet. And I kept thinking, oh, they're gonna happen eventually. They're gonna happen eventually. One of them was owning a house in the mountains. Another was hunting. Another is uh, living in another country. Even though I did it partially, I lived in uh, Ukraine for three months and I spent a lot of time in Romania. I always went back to this safe space that I had. And I realized, I. I wasn't living the life of my dreams. Now the house in the mountain, I wanted it near a ski resort. I wanted to be able to go skiing and be a ski bum. I was also interested in learning to surf and becoming a little bit of a surf bum and spending a lot of time at the beach. And I thought, 
why am I not taking action in all these areas? Why am I not creating the life of my dreams? Why am I not taking the first step? For a lot of us, what it is, is we're looking for everything to line up. Well, I need a certain amount of money before I buy a house. I need a, before I even consider looking. I need to change this and that. I need to, I need to get my really in good shape before I move to the mountains to be a ski bum. I need to uh, fix all my gut issues before I go out and do that because I'll just, I'll just get sad and, and ruin it anyway. But whatever the excuse is, there's a million <laughs> excuses as to why you can't do things. And I had them all in the past and I noticed they were starting to creep back in and even though I teach this stuff. So what I did was I made that first decision. I was a little complacent, a little heavy, and I, I flew out to Idaho to be, to be, I drove out to Idaho uh, with my skis and snowboard to be with my sister for a bit and my family out there, say hi to them. And then I got this inkling to go to Bozeman, Montana. I kept hearing about this amazing place called Bozeman, Montana. And so I said, screw it, I'm gonna drive out there and I'm gonna see what it's like, it's seven hours away, why not? I took my skis, snowboard, drove out there, got a hotel room, started to explore the city. Well, I fell in love with this city and it started to light me up a little bit. And instead of going skiing and snowboarding, I started looking around at the, the beauty of the city and properties and views of the mountains. I said, oh, I'd love to own a house right there. I'd love to own that house. I'd love to own that house. And then on a whim, I said, I should see how much the houses run here. And I started looking at the market. And the first house I looked at, I tried to go look at it. There's only a few on the market. It's like three. And there was first house I looked at, it wasn't even built yet. It was kind of, there was like a description of what was gonna be built there. Then I saw another one that stood out to me for some reason, and then I didn't see much else. So I, then I said, you know what, I'm gonna call this realtor. I'm gonna see what he has to say. Well, he sent me the same houses. It was really interesting. He said, do you wanna see this one? I said, yeah, and it was halfway built. Now, there was one right before that, but as soon as I showed interest in it, it was sold. And the, but the one that stood out to me was halfway built. And I looked at it and I just knew. I said, I've been holding back on making decisions. I've been living in the same place my whole life. I've been saying I want to live in the mountains. I've been saying I want to change. I've been saying I want to be by a ski resort. And it was next to the biggest ski resort in the nation. So I said, screw it, let's do it. And I bought the house on a whim. And it was, it was interesting because all the stories started to come up and all the thoughts started to come up and all the fears started to come up. But there was a deeper part of me that knew I needed to walk right through all that. So I began releasing and meditating a lot. And when I finally moved, I resisted moving to the house right away. I, I rented it for a few months. And then I thought, you know what? It's time that I moved into that house. It's time that I let my old residence go, my old, my old state go, and I just let it all go. And it's weird, it made me sick inside. And my mind was telling me I was making all these mistakes. It was telling me I was doing it all wrong. But I did it anyways, I kept going. And I remember the whole drive there, when I was driving out there. And I even bought this GX470 and I lifted it and I did all this stuff with the snow. because. I love my four-wheel drive, and I drove out there. And the whole drive, I was sick, but I just kept releasing. I said, I know how the mind works. It's just fucking with me. And I'm just going to let it go one bit at a time. I started releasing three hours a day because I knew I was making a big change. My business was still back in the other state, but I knew I needed to be out there. And this was breaking the complacency. And it was a stressful few months. And it was interesting, but it was odd. And I got there, and I said, now what am I going to do? I don't know anybody. I'm just going to start releasing even more every day and I brought and a few friends came out and stayed with me for a bit and we had some fun and they loved this state and then I thought to myself you know what screw it this is home now I'm gonna see what happens and then something interesting happened somebody introduced me to a woman that said she wanted to stage my home I always wanted this beautiful mountain home and she goes I'll stage it for free just let me stay there for a bit give me a budget and I thought oh I gotta I have to spend all this money to stage it now and I thought screw it you know what it's coming to me. She's super excited. She's full of life. She landed in my lap. There's no resistance. I can feel the, the courage, energy, the excitement, energy in her life. So let's do this. Now I've got three women coming out to stage my house to make it look exact like the mountain home I want it to look like. They're going to do all the work. They want to do it for free. They're just, they're just coming out. They just want to stay there for a week. And they're kicking me out, going to do it all themselves. And they're going to surprise me with it. We're going to put it on here when they get it all done as an unveiling. And they're going to show it to me. I'm going to film that so you guys can see it again. I'm being taken care of. The universe is taking care of me. The, the value of the house has skyrocketed. So much so that if, once it's staged, if I do want to sell it, I can sell it for an insane amount of profit and buy another house. I was looking at, at some other houses. I could actually almost buy a house for the profit, get my original money back. It's amazing. Now, I couldn't have ever foreseen that. I found myself being complacent about getting up and going skiing, even though I wanted to be a ski bum. So I started forcing myself to do that because in the past, I've been eh, it's okay, I don't need to do it today. 
And I just started doing it. And oh my God, I started to feel better, meeting people at the ski resorts. And then I decided I, I really want to get good at uh, the carnivore diet. I love the carnivore diet. I love nutrition. I love health. My body has healed a lot from this stuff. I'm going to go out and do this animal-based gathering out in Costa Rica with Paul Saladino and really meet some like-minded people, people that think like me about nutrition and health because I don't, I don't have as many in town or, or in a new town where I don't know anybody. So I flew all the way to Costa Rica on a whim and I was resistant because for some reason this resistance had worked its way into my life. And I'm like, why am I being resistant? Well, now that I'm here, I'm having a blast. I've met a hundred like-minded people. Two of the hundred people happen to be from Bozeman, Montana. So now I have two new friends. One's a hunter. That was also on my list. I wanted to learn to hunt. We're going to go hunting together. Uh, another one is a high-end ski instructor. She wants to teach me how to, to do uh, jump off rocks and shoot down shoots and all the crazy stuff I've always wanted to do. And you see how I couldn't have foreseen all this, but by making a decision, a decision that, that the gut was telling me to make that wouldn't leave me alone, that if I didn't make it, it made me feel complacent and like I'm doing something wrong. But if I did do it, there was this like fear. So by doing that, all of these pieces are now coming together. That's the power of decision. That's the power of taking action. That's the power of getting rid of complacency. And it just continues to build. Now I'm out here and I, another thing I've always wanted to do was learn to uh, surf do a waterfall jump and I did both of those this week I've learned to surf I'll have some pictures of that on here and I'm gonna continue to do it I'm gonna come back here possibly in May and stay for maybe a month and just live here part-time and I'm, I'm almost thinking about now I want to live between Bozeman and Costa Rica or someplace like that and have a surf town and a mountain town that I live between where I can hunt and surf and really build this primal lifestyle that means so much to me and I've come out here and I've met so many like-minded people that are so supportive. And I'm already looking at a house, houses with another guy to, today, later today, to potentially get an investment house here that I could live in part-time. So think about it. I couldn't have predicted that either. I also wanted to meet Paul Saladino. So now I've met Paul Saladino. I was nervous about doing the waterfall jump. I did the, they said it was 12 foot, it ended up being 20 foot. And that was no big deal. I was a little nervous, jumped it. And then I saw the next one, which was supposed to be like 30 foot, 35 foot, and it was more like 50. And I saw that and that's when I got, oh, I was looking at that. And I was like, okay. Saw some people slap and I was like, they hit it kind of hard, got off at an angle. And I was like, oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. And then I sat down and meditated and released, got my mind calm, got it clear. Cause I didn't want to do it reactive. I always talk about being proactive. And then when I felt solid, and I went and did the smaller one a few more times, and then I went and jumped and did it. I didn't realize it would hurt that much because I hit the bottom of my feet flat and my palm flat. I didn't bruise anything, but it was a good smack and I was red. And then I saw the bruises on other people and I was like, yeah, that was badass. And I tell you, if I come back next year, I'm gonna do that again. It, it broke through something and I knew I needed to do it because I would have felt complacent again, that, that heaviness, if I didn't do it. like. Why didn't I do that? Same with the surfing. If I didn't go surfing, I would have felt heavy. And, and I realized that I had built this pattern in my life of being comfortable with my new size. I, I was like this when I was young. I was uncomfortable with being that small. But now I was like this and I was too comfortable and it was time to stretch me again. So life just keeps expanding. Opportunities keep coming to me. Stuff keeps showing itself to me like this and it's nonstop. So what decisions are making you feel complacent, sad, heavy, because you just keep putting them off? What is making you feel smaller and smaller? This is damaging to your self-esteem. When you don't make these decisions to take action, and yes, I want you to get present and say yes. Get clear, feel it from the body and learn to say yes. Make sure it's safe in the sense that it's, it's nothing too dangerous. Like, a, well, I don't even wanna say that. Make sure that it doesn't hurt anybody and that it's a conscious good choice and that you're present and go after your dreams and take action now. So what actions can you take today to change your life? I want you to put that in the comments actually right now. Where have you been holding off on? What have you been complacent? What's been making you sad because you're not doing it? And what are you gonna do today to move in that direction? Maybe it's quit your job. I remember when I quit my job, way back when, when I was small and I kept thinking about quitting my job, thinking about quitting my job. One day I just said, fuck it. I quit my job, moved onto a couch because I had no money and said, I'm gonna live on my friend's couch because he let me and I'm just gonna figure it out. If I can't eat, I'll figure it out. And I did, it took a while and I just kept building and building and building. And I've been doing that ever since, but then every once in a while I get this point where I'm uncomfortable and I don't wanna ruin it. I don't wanna risk the money. I don't wanna risk my life. And then my life starts to feel small again and it attacks my self-esteem. So now my self-esteem is growing. My personal sense of power is growing. I'm happier than I've ever been. 
I'm about to leave Costa Rica and go back to Bozeman, Montana after I look at these houses and then probably go surfing again in the morning. And then I'll be skiing and snowboarding in Montana. I am creating my life. And when I looked at Paul Saladino, the carnivore MD, I noticed how he had created his life. This big, beautiful house on a hill with a view of the ocean. He surfs two, three hours a day. He's the epitome of health and he's killing it out there. Um, his uh, Instagram is uh, carnivoremd2.0 if, it, if it's back up and heart and soil supplements. They took it down, they did, something got flagged. So just keep an eye out for it. Hopefully it's back up by the time you watch this video. So hopefully you're getting a lot out of this video. And again, what decisions are you holding back on? What, what decisions can you make that might scare you, might make you nervous, but will destroy that complacency, will take you in a new direction, a direction that could radically change your life in the matter of months it did for me once i started taking action with that said i hopefully you enjoyed this video i want to invite you to watch another video it's about avoiding pain it should be out at the time of viewing this video i just recorded it so i haven't decided what the title is going to be but we'll put a link in here somewhere and it's about are you avoiding pain and how to get out of that avoidance of pain i shot that one out in alabama at, uh, at a beautiful lake where there were bald eagles. It was stunning. And that was another place I went to on a whim. And it was absolutely amazing. It opened so many more doors for me. So I want to thank one of my clients, Chris, for inviting me out there. Him and his wife are absolutely awesome. With that said, um, again, check out this video about avoiding pain and make sure again to like if you haven't liked the video. Really help us to uh, get more of the video recommended to more people to get us out, uh, get us up to that 100K subscribers. Um, share if you haven't shared, that also grows the channel. Uh, make sure to comment, put those comments in there. Also, uh, besides telling me where you've been complacent, let me know what you want more of from this channel because I really have been looking at the comments a lot and I'm trying to figure out exactly if you guys like the direction I'm going, I'm starting to share more personal stuff, and I might even start building out the Instagram to show more of my personal life. So let me know what you want more of in that area. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. And remember, only the confident really live. And what would you do if you were not afraid? See you in the next video. Take care.